Hey yo, what's up, Guru? And welcome back to another test build video. So today I'll be showing you this new Shock X build. And yeah, this build was requested by Braden2820. Uh, here it is, but I'm really sorry. I mean, it, uh, you requested it, you requested it like uh, 12 days ago, and it's been like two weeks or 30 days right now. Right now, so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I have been a bit sick lately, and I also had some kind of things going on. Like I uh, had a swimming uh, competition. As you know, I'm a swimmer, so I uh, had uh, to do that too. So yeah, uh, I'm for everything apart that. I'm really sorry. So yeah, without further ado, let's try to build. For the omsel, I went with the Iceborne omsel. To open is the terminal voltage, which which is the Melkarian's X. Uh, it has plus repulse and plus reactive equipment cells on it. Special is gonna be the Grim slot. Mod's gonna be the Overtrans shielder, and the bond is gonna be the Thunder Slice, which has plus reactive equipment and uh, it also has plus 30% damage, which is Behemoth has, which is pretty cool. Uh, in this video, we as I said we're using the Tresk's bond but you also can use like the Savitz bond and I have videos for that which I'm gonna leave a link in the description which you can check out on the right corner of the screen there are gonna be videos here next up for the lantern I went with current defense plus plus catalyst I mean you can also use like Revent and uh, Tresk's uh, lantern if you want more damage but it's gonna be a big toll for your, uh, for your health because you're not gonna be as tanky as this one uh, next up for the helmet I went with the Dark Watch with plus three berserker torso is gonna be the Strong Shadow with plus repulse conflicts are the Malkarian's cross with plus three petro and last legs are gonna be the time of leggings with plus repetitor crew and as for tonics as you can see we are using catalyst we and also we're gonna be using tonics in this build as always uh we are using the frenzy a drive and the bliss tonics for this build so yeah that was a part of the build and now for the fashion side of the build for the weapon i went with the adamant wyvern the lantern is gonna be the igneous cinder uh, for the helmet, I went with the Seismic Health Mask. Torso is the Enforcer's Impact Plate. Conflicts are gonna be the Patience, and last but not least, Legs are gonna be the Endurance Sentinels. So, yeah, that was the full build, and now for cells, here are the cells right here. But before we go to writing cells and what the cells do, make sure to sub channel and like the video and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any, on any more future uploads. So, yeah, now for cells, we've got Plastics Aether Equipment, Plastics Berserker, Plastics Catalyst. Plus, plus six cunning, plus six better, and plus six pulse. So that's a full build, and now for test, we're gonna go into some kind of hunt round and test uh, this build out. For example, we're gonna go into, let's see here, let's go to the. Um, do we gonna wanna go to the bright without the fortress fully? Hmm. Let's go to the fortress fully, why not? Which is level 10 hunt rounds, and currently we're on level 6 on the X. Here we're gonna encounter the Kerbeck, the uh, this poor struck Cherok, first pack. Of the first book, now the first sports truck, Cherug, first back, Chang, bro, bro, I can't, <laughs> I can't say this things. Uh, first back, Panger, Moon River Strike, and the Dead Eye Cool Shot. So, yeah, let's see how this uh, build is gonna go down for this test. And here we are in the Fortress Folly, and let's see what kind of behemoth we got here for today. Let's see the starting lineup. We got the Moon River Strike, which is level 12, the Crowback, which is level 9, and the sports truck, Cherug, which is level 10. Okay, firstly we're gonna go do the let's see which is closer to us. Okay, the, the closest behemoth to us is it's level 10 Swap Struck Cherug. So basically we're gonna go into the <laughs> Cherug first and then we're gonna continue on to maybe Shrike and then we'll do the Kerbeck. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, okay, with this build you wanna firstly, as always, do your tonics before every fight. And you're gonna use your legendary ability of the Malkarian to get into the behemoth like so. And charge your attacks because oh, and I accidentally pressed my Omni Cell ability, which you don't have to do that. I completely messed up. So yeah, with this build, uh, you're using X, and as you know, you ha when you you're using X, you have to uh, get your meters on, meters going on, meters high because you want to get your uh, bonus damage going on. Oops, and we got hit right there, pretty nastily. Okay. And by uh, charging attacks, you get these meters. And when you do like that, like that, you get level one, which is uh, plus 30% damage, which is pretty nice. And you go up to like plus 75% damage, which is pretty cool. Okay, as of as of now, we are taking a lot of damage. I mean, a lot. Nice. There we go. Uh, I mean, it's older and quarter was health done, but it's okay. It is very okay. So, and also with this build, you get like the dress bond, and like you basically do more damage to the head, and you want pri to prioritize the uh, head pieces of the behemoth. So, yeah, that was Cherub, which was pretty easy fight, in my opinion. I mean, we tanked a lot of uh, damage right there, and we, and we still didn't die once. Okay, here we are with our next test subject, which is the Moon River Shrike. And I think it's gonna be a much more easier fight than the Cherub because it's. Has less uh, health. I mean, it is higher level, but 
strikes uh, comparably to the sharks have a lot less health than the other behemoths, so that's pretty cool. And also they are really fragile. I mean if you break one part you can like break others pretty easily. Like follows. And we are out of our tonics. So we're gonna basically do that really quickly, like so. And maybe we can interrupt it here if it does this thing. Ah, and that was really late. <laughs> nice, okay. Dodge this, and it's gonna do it again. And we're gonna interrupt it here. Nice, there we go. So, yeah, with this build, you get damage plus uh, attack speed plus survivability. I mean, you get almost anything, almost anything from this build. You get shields, you get health. everything and okay, let's do this ah bro i thought it's gonna do the interruptible move like that but i mean i was like again darn it okay so we're tired bro are you really try tired really damn okay We're gonna continue our putting pressure on the behemoth like so there we go and the part break nice nicely done beautifully done i would say and there we go, the Shrek is down. Which was really easy fight in my opinion. Uh, I think it was far more easy than the Shrek. Okay, next up, as I said, we're gonna go do the Turbic because we already done the Shrek and we just did the Shrike. So yeah, let's... After that, we're gonna see what on the Behemoth spawn. Maybe if, like a Hanger spawn would be really nice. You know this. So, oh, two points on the K damage, really? That's pathetic. That's not really good. <laughs> I mean, we did... It is the side piece of the Pihima, so that's why it did that little damage, but I don't know. There we go, let's take it here, and another level 12 strike just spawned. Okay, I want uh, I want that Pihima, but I guess if you're giving me strikes, I'll kill strikes. Yep, nice, there we go. There we go, we sold them quarter of cells down. I mean, as you can see right from the build, it's real easy. You can do a lot of damage. I mean, one could say we are also in, uh, like, lower points, but, I mean, we're level 6 on the X, and I think, I mean, you can use this uh, build in higher handguns too, if you really want to. There's not holding you back F or anything. There we go. I mean, we'll do the Cherog, anyways, because there is not any other behemoths. Oh, and level 12 Karabek just spawned. I mean, it's another Karabek. <laughs> At least you would have given me like a dire version of the behemoth. I, what's called the Kerbex dire version of it? Or the heroic version? I don't know. I can't remember right now. There we go. Let's break. Yup. I mean, it went. Uh, it came a bit late, but it did uh, break the part. There we go. Let's break the leg part. Yep. Nice. I insti I I waited for it to. Go going to the rage mode and then I uh, was called interrupted it while interrupted it while it was going to rage mode. Which is a pretty fun thing to do. This behemoth there we go nice and it's gonna go down in about in about with this extra maybe. Yep there we go nice. Okay that was the shrike and we have some time left so we're gonna do the level 12 carback. Which in my opinion it's gonna be a much more easier fight than the level 9 Cherok. I mean, let's see. We'll see, because I do think we'll have some time left for both of the both of those behemoths, so... Let's see. Bro, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. What did you expect? What did you ex expect, bro? There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Let's break this part right here. And yeah, if you are... Ooh, level 11 Dead Eye Cool Shot. I will do that. I will do that. Uh, after this. Ooh, 12k damage. Nice. So yeah, as I was saying... I mean, that was really easy fight right there. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, uh, this is this build is using Catalyst and Tonics. But also, if you don't want to use Tonics or Catalyst, you can try to use with the, like, other cells. I do have some videos for that. If you don't want to use, like, Catalyst. I'll have, that I'll have that in the description or on the left side of the corner. Left corner, I mean, I meant. Okay. 
Again, we are really strong for this island, I think. Because this Stella Cushion is gonna do anything against us. I mean, I mean, we'll do a lot of damage. And it's gonna do any nothing. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it was gonna interrupt the turtle move, but yep, there we go. Nice. Didn't even give it like time to like throw out spikes. We got hit. Nice. Come on, bro. Really? Okay, it's only her health, and I don't know how I got hit right there, and I didn't know why it didn't drop on the ground after I broke its part. But I guess whatever, whatever. Nice, there we go, and with this, maybe it's gonna go down, maybe? Nope, but it did 4.4k damage, I mean, nice. And also, you can use this uh, build in Escalations too, if you want. But I would prefer it in the Hunter Grounds because you can, because of the legendary ability of the Milkarian, which is like Terrapost to, to the near, nearest Behemoth, which is pretty nice. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this video on here, 